I've got GG slash Brentwood Brawl. That's the 3rd of June, 2023. In Brentwood, uh, it's if you're in London, you can get to it. If you're in East of England, you can get to it. Um, wow, they really haven't played that much, those two. Um, since, like, today's set in Winners Finals, the first time they've played all year. Before that, I haven't played since uh, September. I guess Bobby hasn't played that much recently. Uh, doesn't enter all those brackets, and Brandon only really enters locals. Uh, Brandon will have to speedrun his bracket if he wants to be done by midnight. Um, he kind of cleaned up in winners, but Bobby is a thinker. He's a thinking man. He's had time to think in between sets. Could be thinking what he could be doing better, what went wrong for him. And in my eyes, it was not playing very honest. Um, not getting these, not getting the edge guards. And also sort of just getting outplayed in these close court situations when Brandon, when Terry is touching Game Watch's shield. You think you just up be out of everything, but Brandon has actually got a lot of ways to deal with it just because of how much of a pain it is for him in this matchup. It's kind of, yeah, it's done very well the chef tilt, but it was the weak hit there. Still resetting. Have a bit more bacon for your lad. Power Geyser, please kill. The down tilt won't kill cross stage. You wonder, can you get anything stronger? Still racking up this damage. A lot of percent coming out. Kill percent. Bobby needs this stock. The power dunk out hits them. Nearly killed off the top, but not getting the second hit. Nah, he's hitting, not going to send into anything dangerous, but 187, you can't let Darkstalker live to these unholy percents. Backing off there, avoiding... Oh my god, charge that! That's saying, yeah, I know you're going to mash. I know you're going to mash a little bit more, boy. And then he gets the stock. But the the, the aggressive uh, power dunk is going to kill. Even this is up. 0% uh, on both sides, two stocks. Probably well, going to open up very nicely, get a lot of damage here. Here it is. As, um, as I said before, it's this mix-up when Darkstalker has an air hits a tilt or an aerial on your shield. If he if he lets rip on the special cancel, uh, it becomes a plus on shield that aerial tilt. But if not, it's pretty minus. You just get a bead. And even when you do do the the oh hold on hold on hold on hold on Jesus! Both players nearly could have died there. Well, we got the right read. Um, if he got like the opposite luck that he did, and if he, if Bobby didn't fall us out of that that rising tackle, he could have died. That's very scary stuff here. Good heavens! Just up being out, anti airing that power dunk. Uh, not going to get shielded. Going to be sent off stage. Back air. No honesty here. Going to punish. Try and punish those high recoveries, but he's going off too early. Again, punishing spot dodges. Now Bobby is ahead in these shield pressure situations. And is playing a lot more dishonest, of being out, getting out of those, uh, those awkward spots. Game which is Boon in this matchup. Please kill him. There we go. Drop going for drop shield F tilt. F tilt. You could even go for up smash out shield when it's like that. It would hit right up in the face. So like minus 25. Uh, like, uh, like the, the burn lock is very unsafe. Ooh, okay. Should be a lot of damage here. 50 percent. Bobby just continuing setting up the, the, the bacon. Down smash on the roll, but not the sweet spot. Good roll through to avoid the, the bomb the setup. Are we going to go high? I'm pretty sure he's already burnt up B. He's gone for like two down airs. Just getting out of neutral, into neutral, but ends up in the corner, ends up getting hit by the burn knuckle. A lot of damage here. Go is online. Oh boy. He sort of uh, clanked through a lot of that bacon. Scary stuff. I've seen Darkstalker win these before so many times. Bobby has to have nerves of steel if he's going to do it. Oh, okay. Yes, get out of there. If you hold shield too long, you get popped, you lose the set. Bobby has to be very careful because Darkstalker's going go mode. Going bananas. Here, can Bobby clean this game up? Gets down a catch to jump. Spikes him. Game one going to Bobby. This could be a sign of things to come in this grand finals here. Good heaven. There were so many um, go moves went out, that went um, out to there. And I suppose in... Eh? Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you already. Here we go. I suppose um, before Bobby has crumbled to the, the special funny buttons uh, with Rage, but not this time Bobby just being out. And it's kind of hard to deal with that frame for free and that invulnerability. Interesting stuff here. Bobby takes game one. Let's take five more to take this tournament. This could be in for the long run here, folks. There we go. There 
air opens up. Tunes, up air, up air. I've seen this before. Game Watch Advantage State, once you get get it down, sort of plays itself. There are some special options like those power dunks uh, in this advantage, which sort of break the traditional flow. But otherwise, it's just like set up, um, use an air to set up juggle, use up airs to frame trap. If you don't have the SP to get around it, you kind of get farmed. Damage coming out. Um, ooh, the power dunks are going to connect. Both hits. Okay, still very scrappy. What a whiff punish, though, from Bulby. Called that power dunk out very hard. And buries him. And smacks him. Takes first stock. Hold on. Okay, just down for an air. Oh, playing very well. Jacked up. Bobby is going to take it though. Charge it. As we go, even stops now. Oh, we gonna, should be getting a lot of damage here. Top of grab, very nice stuff. Crash you out of that jump situation. Very important. I do like this use of crash shoot. It's just completely outrange. Uh, outranges game watch in the mid range. So if Bobby if is just trying to get up close, has to deal with the burst off from so far away. Going for the back air. This is where Bobby has been uh, making waves in this matchup compared to winners. These edge guards are going crazy. Surely there's a catch 22. Surely, what on earth? He spiked him, sent upwards, but Dark took a stage, um, tech the stage spike, but it wasn't enough to make it back afterwards. Good heavens, good golly gosh. What damage here, up air. I mean, nah, 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 up air, up air, up air. All right, this is like the game will watch tax, I feel. They kind of just have to take, take like 80 until you have have the space to use a special to get out of there. Nice roll to avoid the power dunk. Very good stuff, very good stuff. 1% until goes out. If Bobby can get the stop here, it'd be perfect. Not, oh dear, oh dearie me. Not gonna die just yet, but very scary stuff. Ooh, bye bye. Classic game, uh, Dark Souls conversion. A lot of rage. But you're gonna have to just sort of take a lot more damage before you find your way down to round 147%. I feel like this is going to be time for Dark Darkstalker. It's coming out, get whiffing. But it's not getting him hit uh, outright. Oh, okay. Darkstalker always consistently going high because you don't really want to go low against game watch, I suppose. Please, please, Bobby, please kill. Bobby, please, please. I need, don't, don't lose this, Bobby. Bobby. Oh no. Hold. Hold. Oh dear. This is where it starts. 52%. One more could do it. Have to be very careful if you're Mr. Mr. Bulbous Michael. He's throwing out those moves. Ah! No! Say it, it's so. 180% Darkstalk makes the comeback with the shield break. You could tell it was coming. You could tell it was coming, man. Poor Bobby. He was winning that whole game, but just let it slip away. That's gotta hurt. I feel like Bobby's got those nerves of steel, but that can be frustrating. Good golly gosh. Dark Souls done so many times. I, I'm, I'm nearly numb to it, but at the same time, Jesus, Jesus. That was the Bobby's game to win. So if he just does more, if he plays like everything for the last couple seconds, oh, hang on, you DI'd in. Back air? No, not pulling the trigger on it, uh, on the up B. I've seen it, him rob many stocks like that before, like that back air, back air up B. Um, but Brandon does go high and just avoids it all. And now that, that's uh, the open. When, when the pieces are traded, uh, Darkstone has ended up better off here. Slight percent lead. You need that. Like he, he, the, the, the game watch tax has only taken him to 60%, whereas he's taken Bobby to, to 80. It's good stuff for it for Darkstone. He'll be lo loving this. Nice. Nair out of shield there. Out coming out. Tracks no breaker. Stays very strong, and the burn-off will catch and jump from ledge. Very active move, just caught, caught the timing very well. Dude. Okay, a lot of, lot of chef, 
and then, and then the F tilt. By God, and Bobby was steel chair out of nowhere. Okay. Right, a lot of damage coming out here. Up airs, up airs, up airs. Right, there, overshooting, catching him. No damage. Being out, out of that situation. Nice stuff. Bobby finally getting the set play that he wants from those uh, forward airs landing on shield. But Bobby needs to get a stock off. Actually, he has, a, he has a head. It's not the worst thing, so long as he doesn't die, doesn't get cheesed here. He's just a hard working Mr. Game Watch. Catching the, the aggressive roll in with the forward air. Off stage situation. Can he juggle? Can he get enough damage to send back off stage? Tries to wave land, drop through up air. Not going to work, and you may pay for it. A lot of damage coming out at 63%. Uh, we've seen Bobby die at this percent before if he's not careful. Has to be very, very careful. Can't afford to be whiffing those down airs. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. He's done it again. The madman. How does he keep getting away with it, man? You'd think that, he, that Bobby just up B is out of shield. I haven't really seen that up B get punished in a meaningful way. And yet here we are. Here we are. That trash will kill the neutral get up here. Wait, relatively even. Nice. Waiting for the crack shoot, not worth punishing it though. But still, game much attacks. How much damage are we getting? 40, 50. Can we get 60? Yes, we do. 70. We can get 70. Can we get 80? Going up, going up, going once. And Dark looks back into neutral here. Gets the grab, gets the back throw, sends off stage. Just very patient here, trying to cover the good jump, but the up has that invulnerability. Down to Ashley sending off stage. 0.8% to go. It's online. Bowlby has not played these situations very well before. He needs to play very disciplined, can't afford to get cheesed here, can't lose another game in this best of five. Needs to take the lead, he needs to do it. Game watch tax 164, not a stock yet though. But it's scary, ends up cornered, has to land against Darkstalker. It's coming out, rolling through. That's a very clear adaptation to avoid getting popped here. Oh, but he's panicking, desperate for the kill. Darkstalker fiending for something cheesy here. I don't know what, what it is, but something's coming. He's holding down, charging that. Uh, rising tackle, Dark Stalker, very scary. Bobby looking for dash tracks here, looking forward as for back air, armored through. But because um, he got enough hits, able to beat the armor, it's rolling, rolling out again. I have a feeling, yeah, I was gonna say, the power, the Buster Wolves were gonna be coming out as a clear adaptation, but Bobby didn't end up in that space, and eventually that Ned killed. Only one game left for Bobby to force a reset. Can he get that third one for reset? If he does, I'm going to go home and you'll have no, no conference brands. I can't stay around for two, two Game Watch carry sets. I would rather do many other things. I'm work in the morning, all that. Uh, but very good uh, stuff. Bobby, the key adaptations. Um, like he know, knew he lost the last game to. Uh, Power Geyser um, Shield Break. And the roll away is there to clearly beat it. However, that also clearly loses to Darkstalk doing um, Buster Wolf. Uh, sort of checking him. Can Darkstalk get that back? That's a bad spot. Didn't get punished too hard. Spot dodge attack. Gonna do a lot of damage. Down tilt there. Nah. Burn Knuckle. Very satisfying confirmed here. I've got to say. The Nair is going to anti air the Power Dunk. That's very. Ooh, get your get five a day. Um, now we're sort of resetting, not really close for anyone to die here. Bobby's mixing up how he's pressuring his platforms really well. Throwing out a lot. Staying well out of harm's way from that power dunk before to cancel. And now the normal cancel put version is going to get dash attack out of shield. A lot of damage coming up. Very liberal usage of that power dunk from Darkstalker. These roll-ins are getting caught by either the down smash or the forward air, and this time down smash is going to catch Darts in place. Tipper, uh, tipper down smash is going to bury, going to lead to his demise, but Darts will cut open uh, and fires right back to take that stock down throw. Nah, not going to connect. Not being out, it's a little DI 50 50, I believe. Um, this time we have well, got the mix up right. Here we go. 
Roby is slightly down, but here comes that game watch tax. Have you paid it? Get your P60 coming out, man. That's it. HMRC is calling, the, but Dark has paid it. Finds that down tilt, finds that rising tackle. Not gonna kill just yet. A lot of damage coming out. Scary, scary stuff. Bobby rolling to avoid the power dunk. Man, look at all these buttons coming out from Dark here. They're working. It's overwhelming. Dark uh, Bobby here and the dash attack gonna catch the jump. Very good stuff. Very hard call out on that option, but the reward was clearly there. Speed. I'm tired, but this gameplay is very exciting, very interesting. A bit nuanced to this. How much has to get this stock off? The damage is fine, but you got to do something a little bit more. You got to eventually have to commit because Dark Talk is firing all, all cylinders and is making use of this go that you have very kindly given him. And if you don't kill him when he messes up the shield pressure, he will make you pay for it. Oh, yeah, something's coming. I can tell a special move is coming. What did I say, my friends? What did I say? Didn't even need to confirm out of it. Oh, I miss the Tonic Holmes. That's a shame. That's a shame. Ah, well. Game 5. Darkstalker would love this set to be done. Um... He'd love the set to be done to you. Go home before midnight. Otherwise, we got uh, a best of five of Darkstalker versus Bobby again, you know? Bobby's tired, man. He, he had a long day, day yesterday. Had the day off today. But he doesn't want to be finishing at, at, at midnight. Can he even get back if he can? I don't even know. So, like, he, he's damned if he does. Damned if he doesn't, you know? No, no one wins if you get a reset here. Still though, there is a bit of money up for grabs if you get that first place. There's a lot to be competing for. There we go. Up being for a crash shoot can really threaten Bobby. Drop down there. Gonna get sure grabs. Power dunk water cancel. Just gonna get beaten by that nerf from ledge. Very good stuff. No jump. Can you get the stock here? Oh, good tech. Doesn't matter. Still continues. I wonder if he could have gone for back instead of in there. Because he didn't get the drag down confirmed that he wanted. And that Bobby. He's doing very well to play around these power dunks. I think Dark Storm needs to be asking questions. Is am I aggressive in the right way here? Ooh, okay. He, he's, he's very tricky with it, trying to bait aggress uh, aggression from both himself and punish him accordingly. Oh, wait, bust off from the corner. Power Geyser gonna reverse it, gonna take the first stock. Good position for Dark Stalker here. Going up ahead, that chef is F, that F tilt is very active. And Gonna do a lot here, and again, no down throw conversion. I know Dark Stock is the pioneer, uh, like the pioneer, the gravity's combo. Honestly, he may may want to do something like that, or like just F up stage for damage. In a situation like this, so much damage come out. Can Bobby get the edge guard? It covers um, low with back air, covers high to stage with up air, covers um, the up to ledge with down air, stage bike untackable. Good stuff. Put himself back in the swing of things. F tilt crack shield, a lot of damage coming out. Oh, that jab's beating the nair approach. Very good stuff. Uh oh, nice little swing for the fences. F tilt in the other way. Interesting stuff. Probably just compose, sitting in the corner, sitting out of any dangerous stuff. Tries to set up pressure of his own, but gets uh, beaten by that side B. And uh, Game Watch attacks coming up. A lot of damage, a lot of damage. But resets the corner for only 48%. Um, oh my god. Dark Stalk down tilts. A lot of damage, and that's going to kill only one stock left for Dark Stalk. If he can take this stock, the tournament is, is his. Monday Matt Dunn 268 Bank Holiday Edition in his hands. But Bobby's not going to go down without fight. Got a little bit of fight, fight left in this dog. Go, go is out. Damage is out. This is slowly getting scary. Not, not at risk of dying here, but one more decisive hit. Oh, not playing on a power dunk for the first time. Special moves coming. I don't know how. Something's coming. Hold. Okay, off stage situation. Back air court. Last stock. Game five here, my friends. Now one 
hit from Game Watch from being to bring this back to neutral. Oh, tries to reversal from the corner, gets back head and dies. Darkstalker finding that first time in the corner takes that Monday Mat down number 268. Very good stuff. Winning Game Watch Terry two times in a row. One of Terry's worst matchups, but he clearly knows what he's doing. Played it very well. Good stuff to Darkstalker for taking that. And everyone can go home happy. Uh, that was the Monday Meltdown Best of Five edition. Ended about 40 minutes more later than normal. I would love to hear the thoughts of Tio here. You made the decision to run Best of Five back holiday. Yeah, that went all right. Flawless. No problem. Pretty good. A lot of game fives. Yeah. So they're probably for the best, you know. You Close sets. You went game five today. Fuck you. That is your fault. No, it's not. You you gave him the. I'm not the one who played the set. Yeah, but you are like if if you didn't give him best of five, it wouldn't go to game five by definition. Or well, they sh should have won earlier. They should have. Like, but oh yeah, I'm two I'm two games up. I'm gonna play random character. Seven. I hate that. That's annoying. <laughs> and then they lose. Yeah. And then they lose again with mm. the actual main. So it's like okay, I lost all this cats. So I'm gonna switch back to my main and win it. And then they lose. And then they either win or lose after that. And then they get mad. Like, just, like, just, just do it. Come on. Good format that though. Yeah, I mean it worked out. Like, I think for next week we're gonna be back to normal. But mm. I might actually try the whole pause thing again just to see how that works mm. out. That's interesting. We'll start at 7 p.m. But mm. like as usual, we'll start at 7 p.m. We'll do top three, best of five. It'll be normal. Yeah. But I'm interested in trying the pause format again. See if it helps with like organizing things or. As in pause starting concurrently. Or as in, do do the first wave. Yeah, do f do the first lot, and then whoever's going to be later, like just stick them in the next one. It's a bit extra effort on our end, but I think because we don't need all setups at that point, because it's like we don't need to rely on 14 setups. We can have about like mm. six or seven at a time, and then yeah. keep that going. And then by the time the next one starts, assuming it's best of three, and then it should be all right after. It's just something I want to try out because yeah. I know Zeno do it, the uh, mm. New York local. Yeah. They do that. And it tends to work out for them because they don't need to rely on all the setups at one moment. Because, mm. again, with best of three, by the time the next wave has started, there will be a few people knocked out already. Mm. So that's something I do want to maybe try for next week and just do it again and see if it's something mm. people like or not. It's a slightly better tournament competitor experience as well because you have, you have clear downtime where yeah. you get f uh, you can get food, you can do comms, you can get friendlies. Yeah, and there's, fr yeah, there's friendlies available during wave yeah, A. That's good. So I think it's it's something I do want to try again for next week anyway. Like again, we'll be back to normal, 7 p.m. start, top three, best of five, normal stuff. But I'm just gonna try to pull stuff again and just mm. see how that works out. See if that's something people prefer. Otherwise, that was bank holiday edition number two yeah. of three in May. Can't wait for the next bank holiday at the end of this Ooh. month. Love that. Right. Before I hope you're awake then, Ambler. Before you do that, Ambler, can we get one last, one last yeah, yeah, yeah. one more shill, one more shill, one more shill. If we, if this results in anyone uh, getting uh, a sign up tonight, anyone seeing this, thinking, yeah, I want to go to Brentwood Brawl, yeah, man, 96 cap, as I said before, uh, pretty cheap, pretty, it's accessible for EOE, accessible for London. Mm -hmm. Come to Brentwood Brawl. If you can get the Elizabethan line, you can go all the way to what was it? No, sh Brentwood. What, what do you mean? What? You, oh, does it go to Brentwood? Or is it Brentwood. Yeah, you can go to Brentwood. There's like Sinehill or uh, Shenfield. Like yeah, yeah, Shenfield. That's, that's it. it. That's if you're coming from East of England, I think. Yeah, it's like Shenfield's also a place where it's a yeah. But if you can pay ten pounds to come to Meltdown, you can pay fifteen to go to Brentwood Brawl, or twenty even. You can go pay that to go to Brentwood Brawl. And if you didn't come to Meltdown, that's fine. You can save up your money to go to Brentwood Brawl. So there's no problem really. Like there's no reason you shouldn't really go. Unless you're like from Manchester or something, then maybe it's a bit hard. But. Unless your name's Ambler and you're not running stream or play the game. Spitting, yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely spitting. Anyway, that's going to be me done. Thank you again, everyone that came to watch, my wonderful commentators, the TO team. Ambler again, as always, for helping with the stream. The bar for being so patient with us. We actually did pretty decent for the best of five today. I hope everyone was exhausted for the best of five because I think all best of five brackets for big tournaments on that are one day tournaments is mega lame. I think it's too exhausting for people. I can't lie. Damn. All best of five for a two day tournament? Fine. Because at least you split it up. For a one day tournament, I think it's too exhausting. But I did it today because I could. You know. Fair enough. That's how I am. You got to experiment, you know? Yeah.
I like to cause a bit of chaos every now and then. So. It's always fun. All right. That will be that. Run the ads, boy. Run the ads. I've got a lot of pack up to do.